Oh, speaking of though, I have to, I have to do the, all of this while still playing a match as well. Let's see then. Let us go for a cheeky... Oh, he's probably going to go first impressions with that low kicks, right? So in that case, maybe we go for a cheeky little eruption and a switch out into Regio Lecky. Uh, I'm worried about low kicks. I know low kicks has the first impression move, which can do a lot of damage to us. So let's be a little bit careful, shall we? Uh, he probably does go for the first impression. Yeah, he's gonna go with Terra Bug, isn't he? For um, extra damage. Terra Bug, first impression, it's on its way, yep. Uh, I'm going Terra Ghost here just to get rid of my water typing. Hopefully, we resist now and we can do enough damage with Eruption. But let's see, Helping Hand. Helping Hand, first impression is coming in, isn't it? On who, though? It's gonna KO whoever he touches. And yeah, it's going on to the. Oh! Torkoal. On the bright side, at least. Well, no, there's really no bright side. But we will have. Our. Lilligant out next to it, though. The issue is that. We no longer have our Terra. So let's maybe go for Sleep Powder, the Tatsugiri. And then. Electro Whip. But yeah, the, the low kicks can just constantly attack the low, um, the Lilligant now. Unless he switches out into, let's see. Dami Rami? Who is this? Sableye. Ooh, Prankster Sableye. The scary thing is, as well, he can also switch the low kicks back in and go for another first impression. Let's Solar Blade. And then go for a... We have to go Electro again. Uh, Fake Out, yep, that's expected. Solar Blade. Hopefully this KOs. Yo! Not enough, not enough, not enough. Alright then, let's go after you. Electro Web. He probably switches into low kicks at some point. will Oh, that's scary. Well, we, thankfully, Lilligan does have the support set. Or the support after you move, so we're not going to be using any more attacks with it. We can just after you spam. So Electro Web does decent damage. Honestly, the Opti might pick up the KO onto the Tatsugiri now with a, a single target. The issue is that once Low Kicks comes out again... Wait, it fails? Uh-oh. Mirror Coat is interesting. Mirror Coat is very interesting. And Low Kicks can come out now and go for a first impressions again. Chien Pao is out instead though. Ice type against Lilligant, very scary. How many turns left of Sun are there? One more turn left. We could Sleep Powder, maybe. Sleep Powder, Electro Web. We are Foster, at least, so let's see. Sucker Punch. Oh, does KO the Regia Lecky. I mean, we have a choice, so we... Oh, we have a choice, so we couldn't really do anything other than attack there. Sleep Powder goes off, though. I have to assume that that is... What is it called? Sash? And a Dragon Pulse onto the Lilligant. Ooh, we survived though. The burn's gonna be a bit annoying. Actually, the burn is gonna be a lot. And also, the sun fades, so we no longer have uh, our Protosynthesis. So I can go Sleep Powder this slot. I'm assuming he switches out, and we can just go Surging Strikes Tatsugiri then. Hopefully, Surging Strikes does KO. GM Pulse stays asleep, this is good. I'm not manually switching then, that's fine. Ooh, we could have sleep powdered the Tatsugiri, actually. Oh no, we are faster than it. Oh, Surging Strikes isn't going to do enough, I think. Oh, yeah, Water plus Dragon Typing, it just resists it. Lives on 1 HP. What does it do? It can break our Sash now. Woo wee I guess we just close combat Aqua Jet now. I probably should have gone Detect Sleep Powder. Because now, the only way we won that is if we KO'd the Tatsugiri. Because low kicks, yeah, low kicks would have come out and we could have had uh, Focus Sash against it. We could have gone Surging Strikes into it and we, could, and we would have KO'd it. And off to you. Yeah, I thought off to you. Shouldn't off to you, like, make them do the same move again? Like, that's what Orangurus normally uh, have. What we can do. Hang on a second. What we can do. 
is we can detect now. We can detect through the first impressions. And I... Ooh, does first impressions... Yeah, I think we should be able to detect that. And then we can Surging Strikes after that. I don't know if Surging Strikes KOs, though. But he probably has Sucker Punch as well. First impressions, we can protect that. That's perfect. Maybe it was actually a good thing that we're saving our protect for this turn. Oh, that is Instruct! You're right, Fierios. My bad. Alright, Surging Strikes. Do you KO? I think he might actually be faster than us, though, to be fair. Oh, but is he choiced? Is he choiced into first impressions? Oh my goodness. I think we might win this. If this doesn't KO, we can Aqua Jet. Oh my goodness, we won. We actually won. D that must be choice banded. <laughs> oh my, yeah, that must be. Lo and behold, having the protect or not protecting against that uh, Tatsugi was actually the winning play there. So we could save it for that first impressions. Ooh, okay. Basket Legion, Oranguru, Annihilate, Flutter Main, Torkoal, and Landorus. Oh, sorry, Tornadus. You know what? Let's let's try it out. Let's bring our slow team. And let's have Regia, Lucky, and Lurigan come back. In case they set up Sun. If they lead Basket Legion, that could be a bit scary. Because they can have Rain Dance, actually. Actually, yeah, Rain Dance is an absolutely an option if they bring Tornadus, Basket Legion. And they do have Oranguru, so they can instruct. Trick Room, Poor Call. Ooh, Shiny Rayquaza, hello. Are you, uh, what is it called? Roy? Oh no. Whatever the, guy, the guy's name is from uh, the anime. Tornadus and Basket Legion. Okay, they're going Fast Rain Team. Uh, what could Basket Legion do again? Wave Crash, I guess. But I mean, Trick Room plus Protect, right? We should be safe. Uh, if I have to imagine, it's going to be Rain Dance or Taunt and Wave Crash, maybe? Basque Legion probably has Lost Respect, Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, something else. And welcome, Big Soup. Ooh, Shoot Drop, Yes Run, Terra Steel, Dragon Dance, E Speed, Earthquake, and Iron Head. And yep, there's Rain Dance. Swift Swim. Lost Respects. Lost Respects turn one, you have no... Okay, well, okay, that, that still does quite a bit of damage. Life Orb as well on that Basket Legion. That means we get a Trick Room off. Guts boosted from the Flame Orb will activate now. And yes, Furious, that is the Guts Flame Orb combination. We can go Lunar Blessing. Uh, I'm going to Earthquake here because I'm worried Tornadus switches out. So Facade into Tornadus doesn't work. He has three Ghost types on his team. One of them is out now, but he has Annihilate and Fluttermane as possible switch in. So I'm going to Earthquake instead. Cresselia won't take damage because of Levitate, so we're fine. Yep, Tornadus is switching out because he sees a Facade coming in. It's going to be Annihilate. Yep, Annihilate. <laughs> so Earthquake does huge damage to both of them. Protect, okay, that's fine. That means we get free healing at least with Lunar Blessing. But we at least do decent damage onto Annihilate, and hopefully if this does half health or more, we should KO next turn then. Okay, yeah, we do KO next turn. Lunar Blessing will heal us up. Lunar Blessing will technically speaking get rid of the burn, but because Flame Orb doesn't get consumed, it will still uh, re-burn us. As you see there, burn by Flame Orb. I mean, he, what does he do here, right? He Moonblast Annihilate, and just Earthquake again. Uh, he can maybe Aqua Jet, so... Or Lost Respect. So let's honestly Moonblast the Basket Legion, because Annihilate is dead no matter what. And Earthquake, because he can protect with uh, Annihilate. I'm worried about the potential Basket Legion KOing us here. Okay, so we get chip damage onto Tornadus, I assume? Yeah. He's seeing the Earthquakes and he wants to pivot around those. But Moonblast should do decent damage to that. Let's see. Annihilate goes down. Moonblast should do a decent amount to Tornadus. And yeah, the, the Flame Orb Lunar Blessing... Oh, that's a crit, by the way. The Flame Orb Lunar Blessing is nice as well, because when you do uh, Lunar Blessing, it's like you don't even take damage from the Flame Orb as well. Basket Legion comes out. I could still Earthquake, or I could... Uh, what is it called? How many turns left of Trick Room? He's probably going to try and protect this. I could Facade into Tornadus, but... He does still have the possibility of Fluttermane in the back. And something tells me it is Fluttermane in the back, because Torkoal doesn't do well here under the, under the rain, and Oranguru, I imagine, is specifically for 
that as well. So, I'm gonna Moonblast the Basque No. I'm gonna Moonblast the Tornadus and go Earthquake again. Tornadus uses Taunt. I mean, I'm attacking anyway, so this is just to stop me from setting up uh, with Trick Room again. Probably protects as well with the uh, Basque Legion. No protect on Basque Legion. Okay. He's probably going for Lost Respect if I had to guess. But I, this might even just KO instantly. Oh, it lives on 1 HP. But I mean, we have Regieleki in the back. Wave Crash. Ooh, this, might, this is going to KO actually. Uh, hmm, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on a second. Maybe we should have gone. Oh, okay, well, hang on. He dies from recoil. And he's, his final Pokemon comes out now. Trick Room is up for one more turn, right? So let's bring in Lilligan first. Let's save Regieleki for the end. He could go Tailwind though, which is kind of scary. So maybe I should have brought Regieleki in now. And yeah, it was Flutter Main. That's why I didn't want to facade too soon. Uh, we can go Moonblast. Flutter Main. Let's try and sleep the Flutter. I think we try and sleep the Flutter. Bleakwind Storm does Ooh, protect. Let's see then. Taunt? Oh, okay. But he really doesn't want me to set up a Trick Room again. Uh, this is disastrous because we essentially get nothing done here because we're doubling into the Flutter main. We know we can't protect again though, so that's the only solace we have. He can Tailwind himself now. This is not booster energy, so I'm inclined to believe that that is a Focus Sash on Flutter main. That's why I'm going for a double into it. If I can put it to sleep and break its Sash, then Reggie Elekin can come out and Electro Web. He's gonna terror his Flutter, I assume, right? Fairy to resist the Moonblast. This is gonna do extra damage with Dazzling Gleam as well now. Tailwind comes out, yep. Dazzling Gleam does this. KO Lilligant. It might actually. Yep, but we break Sash at least with Moonblast. That's the, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. Uh, we don't do a lot of damage though. It's leftovers on Fluttermane. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, in hindsight, going Terror on the Lilligant may have been the better option there, but let's see. Okay. Uh, let's Moonblast the Tornadus. Oh no, let's Moonblast Flutter again. Regia Lecky, you do not do a lot of damage. Maybe Electroweb here. Electroweb or Thunderbolt. I think we Electroweb to try and hope that it, the Fluttermane gets its speed lowered enough that we can outspeed it as well. Oh, we're already faster. Never mind. That Chaos Tornado then. Oh, Fluttermane is so bulky, actually. What? Speed Falls, which is nice. Shadow Ball onto the Cresselia. I actually think we lose this now because we don't do nearly enough damage with uh, Electro Webs. Look at how bulky that Fluttermane is! Plus the leftover HP. Won't wears off, at least. Do we survive if we go Terra Fairy, Luna Blessing? We have to Electro Web. Terra Ghost Bulk Up with Ursuluna. Oh my goodness. If anything, Bulk Up would have been a lot nicer on our Ursuluna as well. Let's see. Hopefully. Electro Web does decent damage. Speed falls again. Dazzling Gleam. Uh. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. We survived though. Actually, that's huge. We survived with Luna Blessing on 4 HP. Uh, this is enough, I think. 68, 170 to 68. 102 damage. Uh, we survive another Dazzling Gleam with Regia Lecky. And I didn't check how much damage the uh, we took from the Cresselia. So I think we have to Moonblast here. Moonblast and Electro Web. And he, I think... I, I think he could have maybe gone for that. I don't know if he would have won. Electro Web would have reduced speed again, maybe. It wouldn't have KO'd, though. But it would have been very close. 